Good morning, Corey Cubs. I want to remind you of a conversation you had with your teachers back in January over our three R's. The three R's are to be respectful, to be responsible, and to be ready. They might have been a little bit out of order, but I first want to talk about being respectful. Respectful takes many forms and shapes here in Corey in our everyday lives. We respect our parents, we respect our police officers, we respect our community helpers. And most of all, I want to come back to, we want to always respect our teachers, our TAs, our librarians, our custodians, everyone that works in this building. We are here for you and we want you to be successful and we are here um, in a labor of love to be with you and to make sure that you have the best learning environment possible. With that being said, when teachers say to slant or to wave, we need to pay attention the first time and follow directions. That leads me to my next three R are to be ready. When we are ready, we always want to demonstrate a sense of preparedness. That means from the beginning of the day, when you first get here, you get your breakfast as soon as possible and you grab a seat. We do not get breakfast after we've already taken our initial seat. When we're in the classrooms, we're not sharpening pencils. We're sharpening pencils way ahead of time. We're coming here ready to demonstrate to our teachers what we have practiced at home as homework or what we want to do um, for that learning objective of the day. The next one that we have is to be responsible. Looking at our beautiful building and looking at the things that we have here at CORE, we are very fortunate. But unfortunately, some of us are not helping uh, our community become responsible in that I see drawings on a, lo a lot of our furniture, restroom markings. We want to make sure that we are all taking part of holding CORE to the beautiful state that it is for as long as possible. There are many things that we can do to help be responsible. We can open doors for teachers. We can open doors for ladies, young men. We can open, um, just make, make the way for people to um, pick up trash or whatnot, help keep Corey clean. We can make always ensure that we are each doing our part and our small part, though it's maybe small, it will go a long ways. Again, guys, remember your three R's. Those are the three foundational rules we have at Corey. And I just want to say, I know that we're, Dr. Varnell holds us to a high level of excellence, and I know that we're all capable of meeting it. So please help me in remembering your three R's and helping your friends remember their three R's. Have a great day. Bye. Good morning, Corey Cubs. As you can see, Ethan's not here, but let's get on with our announcements with lunch. Today we're having breaded chicken sandwich, and for our sides we're having carrots or pickles, and for our fruit or juice we're having se seasonal fruit or fruit juice. Now back to Lulu and Colton. Thank you for letting us know to bring a parent to ride at Corey Elementary to the Fort Worth Science Museum on Tuesday, March 21st. I love riding buses, and the best part, it's all free. You're welcome. I can't wait to go on the 4D ride, see the science exhibits, science demonstrations, Fossils galore and the planetarium all for free. Now let me tell you a little exciting bit of the news. If you go to the museum on March 21st, you can get a ticket to come back later for free. I'm going to make sure I go to Science Night. See you there, but before we go, we have to see what, how the weather is outside. Hey Chase, look behind you. Oh, you're there again. Today is going to be in the 60s, sunny. I really hope that tomorrow is mixed weather again. Now back to Colton and Lulu. Well, Colton, let's go see you once again, but telling us the sports. That's a good idea. Thank goodness the Stars actually won for once. And like the Rangers have been doing lately, they've lost. But luckily, the Rangers play every day and only have a couple of off days. So I'll have something on that for the rest of the year. Let's really hope they can pick it up and keep winning. Now back to Ethan and Lulu. Please join us in the Pledge to the American Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United 